welcome back to Real Housewife Talk TV. It's everything Real Housewives with a Real Housewife, me, Angel Akita Moore. On today's vlog, we will be talking about The Real Housewives of New Jersey, which aired Sunday, July 24th, entitled There Arose a Clatter. On this episode, we saw Carolyn Manzo kick Kim G out of Melissa's Christmas party, Jacqueline's husband Chris try to form a bond with his stepdaughter, and after a long time, Melissa and Joe are finally getting along with Teresa. And this all happened right before baby Jesus' birthday. Now here's what I want to talk about. I'm realizing that Italians, at least those that are portrayed on TV, have a very short tolerance for everything. Which has brought me to my latest conclusion. I might be part Italian. Yeah, especially since I like pasta too. Here's the deal, since I've gotten older, I have a low tolerance for everything. People, dogs, air, flies, babies, people, Anything that bothers me, I have a low tolerance for. And it's not my fault. It's my grandmother's fault. Dorothy Lee, may she rest in peace. She did a lot of things. She drank, she cussed like a sailor, she had a nasty, nasty sense of humor. She was a cab driver in Baltimore City. I know people who would rather go off to war than to be a cab driver in Baltimore City. But she was able to do it with Jesus in one hand and a gun in the other. She was a wonderful young lady. What I loved about her the most is that she didn't take from nobody. If you got on her nerves, it was gonna be your ass. And I find that I'm the same way now. Like for those of you all who know my stand up, I talk about fighting an old white lady in the middle of the street. That's not a joke, that's real life. She wanna call me names, so I decided, you know what, your face needs to meet the pavement. More recently, I was going on a hike with my son in my stroller and out of my peripheral, I see a woman look down on my son and say, look at that cute monkey. Well, she was about to meet a gorilla cause my hand was getting ready to smack her ass back down Runyon Canyon. Then I remembered, my son had a toy monkey in his arms. Y'all pray for my son cause his parents, they ain't got no damn sense. My husband's just as crazy. He's throwing coins at people's cars because they talking crazy to us. He almost kicked a woman's side view mirror off of her car because she gave him the middle finger. I'm sure by the time my son's 10, both of his parents will be incarcerated for assault and battery. So basically, I think I'm Italian. Ciao, Bella. All right, tune in later this week when I do the vlog about basketball wives, which should be really good because, honey, these ladies are fighting. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as rate it and comment on it. Oh, I'm over here picking food out my teeth with my tongue. That is so not attractive. Mm-mm-mm. It's real. The, the moral of the story is don't call nobody's child a monkey unless you want to get your ass whooped. Thank you so much and God bless.